Good morning. Last Sunday was Easter. I hope nobody got sick eating too many peeps. Today is the Sunday after Easter. It's also known as Low Sunday. Its fancy Latin name is Quasimodo Sunday. Hey, we know a Quasimodo, don't we? He's the hunchback of Notre Dame. He was named Quasimodo because in the story, as an infant, he was left on the steps of Notre Dame Cathedral and the Monsignor found him on the Sunday after Easter and named him Quasimodo. It may be Low Sunday, but something very important happens today in the Gospel story. Today's Gospel is about a disciple named Thomas. It must have been hard for even Jesus' best friends to believe that he was alive again after he'd been dead for three days. By a week after Easter, though, most of Jesus' friends had seen him alive and believed it. But there was one disciple named Thomas who still did not believe. He might have been running an errand or out at the grocery store the day that Jesus appeared to the other disciples. They said to him, Thomas, Tommy, Tom, come and see. Jesus is alive. But Thomas had his doubts. Thomas was one of those people who have to see something with their own eyes in order to believe it. If someone were to say to him, I can leap over Solomon's temple in a single bound, Thomas would say, oh really? What are you, Superman or something? Let's see you do it. If someone were to say, I'll give you a hundred shekels for your bike, he would say, oh really? Let's see the money first. Thomas would not be fooled. When people came to him and said Jesus was alive, Thomas said, in effect, Oh, really? Let's see the wounds in his hands where the nails were. If I can see that, then I'll believe. Ever since then, he's been called Doubting Thomas. And ever since then, people have used Doubting Thomas as an example of what not to be. Don't be a Doubting Thomas, they say. When it comes to believing in God and the baby Jesus and Christmas and Easter and all the other things that we're supposed to believe, some say we shouldn't have doubts. We must have faith. Is it okay to tell you that? I have my doubts. Because sometimes doubt is a good thing. And sometimes the best way to believe in something is to first have doubts about it. Suppose I were to tell you, I believe that if you run as fast as you can towards this wall, and if you click your heels together three times, wish really hard and don't stop running, you can run right through this wall and not be hurt. Would you believe me? Are you gonna try it? No, you're gonna have doubts about it. And those doubts will keep you from getting hurt. That's when it's good to doubt. Sometimes doubting can help you believe. Suppose I told you that if you took two balls of the same size and shape up to the top of St. Mark's steeple, one ball weighs 10 pounds, the other weighs one pound, and you drop them both at the same time, they would hit the ground at the exact same moment. No way, you'd say. I don't believe it. The heavier ball falls faster because it's heavier. It will fall faster. You have your doubts. So you try it. And the two balls hit the ground together. You still have your doubts. So you take two other balls, one light and one heavy, and you try it again. The same thing happens. They hit the ground at the same time. Because you're smart and you apply the scientific method, you try it five or six more times, and finally you come to believe that heavy and light objects of the same size and shape fall to the ground at the same speed. Now you'll believe it will happen the same way every time and everywhere you tried it, and no one can make you stop believing. That's a case of doubt helping you to believe something. So it's nice to have faith and believe, but it can be also okay to have your doubts, because doubts can be the seeds of a very strong faith. That's what happened with Thomas. He had his doubts about Jesus being raised from the dead, so he went to see for himself. And once he did, he believed and never doubted his faith again. Oops. Sorry, that's my phone. Um, you think it's somebody calling to say I won $11 million in a swimming pool? I doubt it.